And I'd maybe like to start with Tim Cook, who's done such an incredible job at Apple, become a friend of mine. And he's a friend because he does a great job. I mean, we want to we want to get things done, employees. So many people brought a lot of money back into our country because of the new tax law, and he's spending that money very wisely and just done an incredible job. So, Tim, maybe you could just start, please. Sure. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, it's an honor to serve on this council. Uh, I've, I've always thought that America is so special in so many ways, but at the heart of all of its people. And that, to me, is what this group is about. Uh, for our company, as you know, was founded by a college dropout. So we've never really thought that uh, a college degree was the, was the thing that you had to have to, to do well. We, we've always tried to expand our horizons. And so that degree, about half of our U.S. employment last year were people that uh, did not have a four-year degree. And we're very proud of that, uh, but we want to go further. And so to that end, as we've looked at the, uh, the sort of the mismatch between the skills that are coming out of uh, colleges and, and what the skills are that we believe we need in the future, many other businesses do, we've identified coding as a very key one. Mm -hmm. And we, we believe strongly that it should be a requirement in the United States uh, for every kid to have coding before they graduate from K-12 and become somewhat proficient at it. And so we've provided a, we've done a curriculum now and provided it to uh, all schools in the United States. 4,000 have picked it up. Now, we have a lot further to go because there's a lot more than 4,000 schools in America. But th that is a start. We've also done that with 80 community colleges. Uh, and we're really proud of that, particularly with the work that we're doing in Austin uh, and, uh, and providing coding education there. There's an enormous deficit in the, the number of jobs versus the number of candidates. And so we're, we are proud to, to take part and to help the, to get this alignment uh, much better between education and, and private sector. We realize that in something this large, uh, it takes government, private sector, and education all kind of oaring in, in the same direction, and, and we're very proud to be a part of it. Well, 